In this video, we're going to go through the four new features which are brought to us by Rehab Guru Artificial Intelligence, or RGAI. So there are four areas to this. First up, I'm going to show you the RGAI chat, which uses OpenAI in order to give us text-based responses. So if I ask the model, uh, who are you? we will get the response that they're a senior physiotherapist and exercise professional and specializes in the use of exercise for the treatment of medical conditions. So um, how can you help me? So they can provide advice and best exercises to help you manage your medical conditions and how we can use that to perform exercises or assign exercises. So let's start asking something that's going to help us save some time. So I'm going to ask um, RGAI chat to write a quick email to a new patient who has booked an appointment to see me about their low back pain. Okay, so here we've got a, a quick response. I could copy and paste this into an email and then send that away. Um, but let's start asking some more um, clinical questions or technical questions. So uh, let's ask for, uh, can you remind me the thermotomes and myotomes for the femoral? nerve. Okay, so here we're starting to get a little bit more um, clinical questions and, you know, we can just interact with the RGAI chat to, um, to save us some time or to give us some information that we don't know ourselves. Now, always working with artificial intelligence does come with the caveat that you may get some incorrect responses. So you do always need to keep your clinical judgment in your back pocket, but it can be a huge time saver for your workflow. So next up, as we're on the subject of saving time, we've got the AI generator for generating an exercise program. So here I'm just going to ask for exercises for a ankle sprain early stage, maximum four exercises, generate that for me. What that's going to do is ask the AI model for some exercises that be suitable for an ankle sprain, and then it will uh, search the Rehab Guru database for those, and then we'll get the results returned. So exercise number one options, we've got uh, an, uh, an array of uh, heel raises. So this is acute, so I'll go for heel raise and sitting. We'll do some mobility with ankle rotations and some uh, stretching and sitting. I'll add those to the collection and then those will be added to my Rehab Guru um, working palette. Now, what I can also do because it is a working palette is I can go back and add any other exercises that I want to add in. So I want some single leg balance. I'll add this in there. And this is probably a good time to go through one of the new exercise description generators where I can simply add the name of the exercise. So if I wanted a uh, balance on a pillow, I'll then I'll click generate. And then we've got a automatically generated description of how we can add some instability to this exercise. I could video the patient or I could upload any images and then we've very quickly created our own bespoke exercise to add to our collection. Lastly, on the RGAI features, we've got the ability to progress, regress or maintain an exercise program. So if we've got an exercise program in our prescription list, we can adjust that prescription using RGAI. So here I'm going to ask the model to uh, progress these exercises and I'm going to keep them the same. So let's have a quick look to see what is in this exercise set already. So we've got lunges, squat, deadlift, and we've got three sets of 10, three sets of 10, 
three sets of six and a weight of eight kilos. We'll progress those exercises and we'll see what we get. So here we've gone up to four sets of 12 rather than three sets of 10 again here and we've gone up to four sets of eight rather than three sets of six and gone up to 85 kilos. Now if we're not happy with that then we can add in some additional information or we could change the exercises and we've also got the option of maintaining or regressing these exercises as well. In the additional information I'm just going to add in the uh, the command change reps and sets keep the weight the same. So now we've kept the weight the same and reps and sets have changed. So here we could play around with volume, tempo and different parameters if we wanted to progress the exercise program in a different way and then we can of course change the exercises if we wanted to change things up. And here we've got a few different exercises, um, probably not quite what I'm looking for because we've added in a little bit of upper body here. Um, so I'm going to go back, keep the same, keep the weight the same. In fact, I'm going to change this completely and go for um, focus on leg strength, include uh, weighted exercises. Okay, so here we've got a few um, single leg squat, Bulgarian split squat, Romanian deadlift. So that's a, a nice progression, I think, from what we had before, which was squat lunge and deadlift. I'm probably just going to keep this patient uh, progressing well and also engaged with their exercise program as we switch things up with the exercises, but also maintain their aim and the goal of that exercise program. So that's four features in total. We've got the ability to adjust an exercise prescription. We can generate an exercise program using the AI generator. We can generate exercise descriptions using the create exercise function. And we've got RG AI chat where you've got the full power of open AI within the Rehab Guru interface. We're really excited to see where Rehab Guru AI takes us and your feedback is instrumental in doing that. At the moment, it is in beta and it's by invitation only. So please reach out to us using the usual support methods by clicking on the contact us and ask to be added to the RGAI beta. We'll add you to that. And during the beta phase, there are no costs associated with using the AI features. However, in the future, there may be a small cost associated with them. If you've got any questions, as always, just reach out to the team and we'll be happy to help.